And then you can change that website. Well, this QR code can take you directly to a student page. Next slide. So the next part is having principal have an advantage. And if you guys could pass out the cards for me. All right. Yeah, oh, awesome. Wonderful. If you guys see these cards, on the front is that slogan of, do you even save, bro? And on the back is the most important thing for a college student. Right on the bottom, there's a big thing of, you have $400,000 more than someone else for saving early. Well, as a college student, we might not understand how that works. So if we come to a booth for yourself uh, with a representative and you explain compounding interest and how much it's going to benefit us, we're going to be very excited that you showed us how to have all this type of money for retirement age and that you as principal are the ones that are going to get us there. So now that they came to see you, you, they can have these cards and even maybe like a free pen or other free things to walk away with to remind them that saving early with principal is a good idea. Okay, so this is just an example of what a, a main event should look like. As you can see, there's a huge balloon right in the middle that stands well above the crowd. So walking around campus, if I'm walking around and I see something large like this or a stage, I'm going to be drawn to this. And lots of people are going to come and then come to your booth to get information and see why principal can do this for us. And the other thing is this can be used on small or large universities. With a small university, you have an advantage of kind of a more personal relationship with students and professors. So if you can show professors and even maybe a president of a business uh, school, then you might be able to get some backing from these professors who show you uh, that they can actually influence students to go to these and give maybe extra credit or maybe even make a class event out of it. In the large universities, the numbers are your advantage. The more people, the better event, the more fun people will have. And this will travel by word of mouth then. Then you can make these an annual event and become a must-go-to for all these large universities. So for a larger university or even a smaller one, the next video shows a good example of a fun event. So as you can see, plenty of students were at this event, uh, college age kids, maybe even at their first job, having a good time. So with that, you can uh, get all these students to come to you and build early relationships. Well, we also want to say, why would you stop there with just a fun event to inform? As principal, why not start a relationship early with an easy account for a college student? I understand that as a 401k contributor, we can't access this without an employer contributor. Well, why not open up a different account for college students with maybe $50 to $100 to just start with a principal base? With more accounts, we'll build longer lasting customers and then multiple accounts. So you might have maybe a, an IRA for a college student lead into a 401k with their employer. So build that early relationship to maybe further long term lasting uh, relationships. So the following aspects are all ways to make your company more relatable to make current customers happy as well as build long-lasting relationships with potential customers. For this, social media is going to mainly be your driving force. Sites such as Facebook and Twitter are going to be your customer service. On these sites, principals should advertise for, for the events that are happening around campus as well as having funny videos which will eventually drive more people to their blog. Videos do not have to be strictly financial information. For example, <coughs> This is an example from Coca-Cola's Facebook page. It's gotten over 36,000 likes. I would like to note that there's no Coca-Cola advertisements or Coke bottles in the picture. This is a simple picture of a dog, and we all know that dogs are man's best friend. <laughs> this next slide is from Red Bull, and their time at the Coachella Music Festival. Once again, there's no big Red Bull sign. Red Bull is simply showing their presence and making them seem that much more enjoyable. We feel that principals should post their campus events that they do. The last part to this is social media posting short videos that don't take up much time.
the media comment that you guys just saw was extremely short and it just had a few words explaining exactly what a company should do. We feel that principal should make a similar video that's maybe funny and it will apply more to our generation. Not only are you as a company helping us save money, you're trying to say that you're, we're going to have a great time doing so. However, this will not be an easy task and you will need a team that is dedicated to monitoring as well as coming up with these new ideas. So now that your relationship's been going and, and you've been on that path for a while, um, how do you keep it going? How do you continue to build upon your relationship? And it's going to come through communication, or in your case, customer service. Anyone who has been in a long and lasting relationship, like myself, uh, knows <laughs> that communication is key. Just for an example, I've had two very successful marriages already, and I'm only 30 years old. So who knows how far I can go by the time that I'm 60? And judging by the laughs, maybe you have some successful people out here. <laughs> so, how do you build that? How do you communicate? Well, it's going to come through your social media website. It's going to come through fa Facebook and Twitter and Instagram. One of the main things that we saw when we were going through the social media is it didn't seem like there was a lot of response on principal's side to your customers on your, on your social media presence. Now, what that actually looks like, it, it tends to look a little insulting to the consumer. Now, perhaps you're responding in other ways through email or through the phone, but you have to do it on these social media websites. You have to have somebody, Greg mentioned a dedicated team, you have to have somebody that is responding to these posts in a quick and in a, in a very uh, dedicated manner. Um, what it does is if you have good responses that go unnoticed, they're not going to respond in a good way anymore. They're going to say they don't care what I think. If you have negative responses, then they're going to say, oh, they, they, just, they really don't care, and they're going to spread that word far and wide. So you have to be responding on your social media. Right here we have a good example of Red Bull um, responding to someone who enjoys their product. It's through common activity that you're going to gather a, an audience. Right here we say, this guy at a gas station just bought my Red Bull for me because I talked to him for four whole minutes about vitamins. We fell in love. You got a free Red Bull and found the love of your life? Lucky you. Has absolutely, Red Bull's response doesn't have anything to do with Red Bull. They've just sought out someone who was responding about their product and came in and, and in a funny way reestablished their connection with the consumer. So, go ahead. Here's another example. Sports Illustrated special on perfect motivation for my three mile run. Red Bull wins. There you go. Keep aspiring towards your goals and make the most of your runs with a Red Bull for pack on us. So this is Red Bull going to their consumers and doing something for them. Now, it was mentioned earlier, how do you get your consumers to match at the highest rate possible? Okay? So that can be done through social media. You see Red Bull right here, they are, are going to send a, a, a four pack of their, their soft drink to their consumer. Well, if, if principal were to take out a social media marking, and we've heard of hashtags earlier, of uh, no cash in the trash. You know, don't throw that cash in the trash. Relate it to, if you're not matching at your employer's rate, it's the exact same thing as throwing that cash in the trash. And then, of course, you're going to have to follow through with whatever, whatever you set. Red Bull here, there's the four pack. So what does the consumer do here? They take a picture of the four pack that Red Bull sent them, they retweet it, and say, hey, this is great. And then their friends retweet it as well. So how does that relate? Well, your consumers are going to respond well if you have a social media presence. And that social media marketing uh, market of no cash in the trash can be used by your consumers as well. Let's say you're walking down the street and one of your consumers is on his phone and he types out a little quick tweet, uh, went to skip my Starbucks today so I could put some more money in my 401k. Hashtag no trash, no cash in the trash. It's a great way to unite your consumers under a common banner and allow them to communicate with each other. And it also allows principal to form contests and promotions as well that can continue on into the future. While building any initial relationship, a first date is key. 
We believe a good YouTube video could be an excellent first date for your customers. The second date is also important, having that established relationship with the person and leading them to your website that both relates to both the older generation and the younger generation. Show them not what you can do for them, but what they can do for you. That constant connection with having that mobile app, having it on your phone, and having the relationship with principal all the time, 24-7, whatever they're doing, you'll know about. Make sure everyone knows about your relationships. Get out on events on college campuses and have a good time so that they can learn and also relate positive feelings towards your company's brand. Also, make sure that the students have an opportunity to form a relationship with you on their own college campus. Use social media to keep all your customers up to date of what the company is doing. I'm sure we all like a date that is cute and funny, so keep your posts interesting. <laughs> Remember that social media is your customer service of today. It used to be said that the customer is always right. Well, today the customer is always right, the customer is always heard, and the customer is always responded to on social media. And always remember, no cash in that trash. If you can incorporate these things into your company, if you can incorporate these things into your company, we believe you can form healthier relationships that will, with a new demographic that will lead far into the future. And now at this time, we'd like to open up for any further questions. Woo!